So computing as a field is quite complex. Um, having been students in this field or working in this field, you've got some understanding of this complexity. Now, before the 90s, it was relatively simple. We had three main distinctions in the computing field. There was the hardware, there was the software, and there was the business applications. And within the hardware, there was those that looked after the electronics, basically looking at the transistors and how they can be developed, looking at the actual computer engineering aspect of how to put all those things together into working computers. And then computer science looked at the software side of things. And in business, it was focused more mostly around information systems as a, that's the main application. Now, after the 90s, things got a little bit more fragmented. In the hardware side of things, we saw the development of um, computer engineering, but it had a lot of intersections with computer science. Of course, the software at the time, particularly around operating systems, was becoming much more involved with the hardware. We still had the electronics looking after um, the transistors and that. And then we saw the emergence of software engineering, distinct from computer science. Computer science tended to focus more on the theoretical aspects, while software engineering focused more on the applied application of development of software. And within the business field, there was also some fragmentation between the information systems, but also more broadly other applications, become known as information technology. So all the application software and other things like spreadsheets and all that sort of stuff. Then in the 2010s, essentially we gave up trying to categorize things. It was just getting too difficult to have clear categories. So now it's an accepted model that there are all these different subfields that they can intersect and combine with one another as they need to. Now, in computer education, it's a little bit different. In our U11 and 12 courses, we've tended to model them on what's happened in tertiary. So they've been fairly distinct. But as we move towards having a more comprehensive computer education curriculum from foundation or kindergarten through to year 12 or 13 in some cases, there was a need to structure what was going to be the field of computer education more formally. And this is difficult because it hasn't been achieved at tertiary level. Um, so it was very much left to um, K-12 education to work this out. Of course, in um, schools, we tended to do a lot more broader categorizations, including things like robotics and multimedia and video editing, all within the field of computing. But there has been some work done towards that, and we'll be discussing that. But the other key takeaway for this section is there's been a global trend towards outcome-based education. Sorry, from competency-based, so from outcomes-based to competency-based education in tertiary. Now, competency-based is more along the training model. Traditionally, we've seen that very much in the vocational education sector. A set of clear competencies that are achieved, often in isolation from other aspects. Outcomes-based education is much more holistic, looking at very large-scale concept development. So how to understand computational thinking, how to develop as a programmer, things like that, which aren't broken down in as much detail as we see in competency-based education. But there has been a trend towards that. Not happening in schools. Yes, there is some vocational education in schools, particularly in our year 11 and 12, but in the main, K-12 schooling is very much still focused around outcomes-based education. And you need to understand the distinction between those two.